Off the Rock Productions presents The End of the World in Seven Plays. Today, Hour of Our Death by Helen Shea. Fraud that I am, O oh God, trying to dispense succour to my congregation in your name, when I no longer know if you are there. Trying to save them for the next world, because you have allowed this one to be destroyed. Didn't he say, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do? Now it seems you never forgave us at all. If you didn't hear Christ's prayer, what hope is there that you'll hear mine? Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. One and the same. Am I your last? Last? I'll try not to keep you. <laughs> Stupid thing to say, in this situation. With so little time left, what on earth would I be keeping you from? <laughs> Don't be nervous. Also not something to say in this situation. And what on earth doesn't apply to you anyway? Keeping you from him up there. Him with the capital H. I suppose he'll be waiting for you. Yes, I suppose he will. You suppose? Surely in this situation it's more than suppose. I gave my sermon on faith to the end last Sunday, when no one still really believed it would come to this. Then, today, the shock announcement. An hour's notice. So you came here. Where else would you go? As a priest, I mean. I thought others might come too. That's why I left the sign outside. Prayers are us. Well, not exactly. Brought me in, though. It was meant just as an invitation to solace. All welcome here to find soul's ease. Soul's ease. Solace. What a thought. Of course, forgive me. I tend to joke when I'm scared. Only we're all scared now, and the joke's on us. Seems it's just the two of us. Perhaps others prefer to stay close to their loved ones. Stay close to loved ones. Now that is a thought. Do you want to start? Start? I thought I was last. Though, wasn't there something about the last shall be first and the first shall be last? Or was it first again? I mean, if they were last to start with... Sorry, I'm babbling again. I can see you're not finding this easy. Are you? Long time since I've been in a church. Not much scope for Bible studies in my profession. Are you here to confess? Aren't we all, in the end? I'm not bothered about a box or anything. Too many childhood memories. Right here will do. Especially as we don't have much time. None of us ever had much time. It's only now that people realise it. Yes, even Facebook and Twitter can't fake the news on this one. Try to relax. Take off your sunglasses, you hardly need them in this dingy church. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. How long since your last confession? A lifetime. Ironic, seen as I suppose it's my death time now. And for us all. As sinners, that is. We are all sinners. Even you? Even me. How have you sinned? Shouldn't I be the one hearing your sins? Shouldn't you confess too? If we're all going to die. We were always going to die, even before it happened. Is that how you see it? Just the inevitable, only arriving a bit early? Nothing is inevitable. God gave us free will and death need not be the end. You honestly still believe that, even with what's happened? Of course. So is this all God's plan? His moving in mysterious ways? His annihilating wonders to perform? You sound so angry. Didn't you come here to find peace? Very much so. Then confess, child. Child? Is that how you see me? It's how God sees you. How he sees us all. Then we all must have been very, very naughty little kiddiewinks then, seeing as he's allowing the whole freaking world to end. Sic transi gloria mundi. You in your flaming Latin. What? You know, church Latin. You priests. Always some for every occasion. Even the imminent extinction of the human race. Maybe especially for that. The church has always been big on doomsday. 
I always thought the book of Revelations read like a dystopian Hollywood blockbuster. And I think I saw the four horses of the apocalypse tethered in the village, whilst Plague and his three mates stopped off for a swift half in the nag's head. You said you and your flame in Latin. What were they called? The other three? Death, famine, and... You and your flame in Latin. Someone else used to say that to me. But no matter. No matter. <laughs> yes, literally no matter. Seen as soon everything will be gone. On Earth, yes. Oh, we're back to on Earth now, are we? You still believe in heaven, that some of us will be allowed in? I'd like to think all of us will, if we repent. You really believe that? Pestilence. What? Not plague, pestilence. Death, famine, war and pestilence. And I doubt any of them would call in the pub for a swift half, except in a Pratchett novel. <laughs> you read Terry Pratchett? No. How did you know it was the Nag's Head? You're hardly from round here with that accent. I moved back recently. Back? When the warnings got more serious, I had someone I needed to see. Who are you? Marie. Marie de Jour. Marie de Jour? Unusual. French. Sort of a stage name. So with plague then, sorry, pestilence, can we expect a few last minute orgies in the graveyard, like they did during the Black Death? It would be a very mean apocalypse if there's not even time for that. People will take the pills, spare themselves the worst. But isn't that suicide? A mortal sin? The church hasn't had time to formulate quite fully its position on that. Sounds like a convenient fudge. Will you take the pills? I shall pray. Even for me, John. Who are you? Didn't you know from the moment I came in? You're no Marie. You're Mari. My Mari. I, I thought you'd gone with all those years. You never change, do you? Same old slag, you mean? You know what I mean. Do I? Thought I knew what you meant all those years ago. Mari, please don't. Something about being meant for each other? Don't. Something about getting married? Please. And a whole lot of something about love. But you chose God instead. God chose me. What about all that free will you mentioned? Mary, we were just kids. You swore you loved me. You know I did. But God couldn't hack it, eh? He had to be the one for you. Your one and only. Where was his pity for me in that? I seem to remember you found plenty of consolation. Careful, John. Don't say you were jealous. Isn't that one of the seven deadlies? Of course I was flaming jealous. Well, you were meant to be. Why do you think I did it? The drink, the sleeping around, the running off to London. That's what really shocked them round here. But you did well in the end, Mary. Job as a PA, your own flat, big city life. Your mother told me. So at least you asked about me. That's something. Yes, big city life. My own flat. But Mam didn't know all the details. How very personal a personal assistant I was with so many wealthy businessmen. Is that why you've come back to confess? I came back to confess to you. Confess or accuse? Are you saying it was my fault, Mary? I'm saying it was God's fault. He stole you from me. How could I ever compete with the friggin' almighty? It was a calling. To give up love? How can any merciful God want that? But maybe you just never loved me anyway. I did. I do. Oh, careful again, John. That sounds a bit like a certain vow you promised to make to me. And here we are in a church. But am I still your Mary? Less Virgin Mary now, more Mary Magdalene. Always. You are always my Mary. Do you remember that day down in the fall woods by the river? Always. Green pastures. Lying down by still waters, restoring our souls. Amongst other things. No, it was all that. Everything was that. That one day, we were no longer just kids giggling at the back of the classroom over Pratchett novels. That day in the woods, your face, your ecstasy. Like seeing an angel standing in the sun. That's when I heard it. My calling. God had created so much love and beauty, I had to serve him. So God got to you through me? This scheming bitch! You can't call God a- And what was I supposed to do? Get thee to a nunnery? 
Only I chose a brothel instead. But Mary, you didn't need to do any of that. It wasn't the end of the world. Well, it is now. I mean, you were always so clever. Quick-witted. I loved that. All that reading you did. You should have gone to university, found someone else. I found a whole world of someone else. And my calling was different. They always called me. Oh, how I hate God. He took you from me, and then look what happened as a result. Marie de Jour. As in Belle de Jour. The most of my punters were too thick to get it. God wrecked my life. And now he's wrecking the whole friggin' world. God didn't do anything. Free will, remember? So it's all our fault, is it? Every one of us. Even children. What free will do we all have now? Can we choose not to die? We can choose how we die. Whether in hate or love. Repentant or damned. Oh, you know which you are. And I know which I am. Even in death, God is in for me. I'd rather there was no afterlife than be separated from you all over again. You'll be up in heaven, and let's just say it'll be a damn sight hotter where I am. Aren't you in hell already? With all that hate, Mari? How can anyone not hate this stupid suicidal world? It's killed itself. Pills are no pills. And God has stood by and let it happen. So I hate him too. And guess what? I said that with no capital letter. And I hate you. Especially you. So why come back now? Right at the very end. To hate you even more. Is that even possible? Oh, God. Yes. 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 And trust me, I've made an art of saying that. There is endless depth to how I hate you. Why? You know why. And that's why I hate you most of all. God may have taken your love for me away, but not mine for you. I've walked that thin line ever since. Winding it up to make a noose around my neck. Jumping to man after man, trying to prove how much I hated you. And each of my sins were one in the eye for God. But you could have stayed. We could have still been close. What? Celibate? Just good friends? Helping you with the church fundraisers? Tea and tombola? Maybe we could have prayed together. Maybe he would have found a way, given you peace. Then someone else might have come along. Never. He took you from me, but not what I felt for you, the bastard. You can't call God a bastard. Well, I do. Bastard! 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 And that's definitely with a capital B. Mary, this is neither the time or the place. John, it's the end of the world in an hour, so don't tell me what the fucking time and the fucking place. It's here! Right now! For all of us. Okay, I'll give you that. Maybe here's the time and the place, given the circumstances. But please, without all the fucking... That's a shame. So, no Black Death sex parties after all. Not even me and my very varied professional life has had a call to do it at a church. But we could do it now. Before this altar. That had really put the desk at the office in the shade. Mary, stop all that now. That's not who you are, or ever were. What? Virgin Mary after all, not Magdalene. You were always you. My Mary, neither holy nor profane. Just you. No, that's who we were, not who we are now. Saint and sinner. We are both, each of us, saint and sinner. That's how it is in the end, for everyone. This is the end for everyone. Yet we are together. Isn't that a kind of miracle? Before you arrived, I was praying, but in so much doubt. Doubt? You? Until you came in. As if it was meant. Like that day in the woods, suddenly everything became clear. Everything is love and beauty again. You are my angel standing in the sun. I've been given a last chance to say sorry. Ask you for forgiveness. Tell you how I always loved you. Oh, Mari. Shall we pray now? Face the end together? What if there's another way? Not just prayer or pills. What if, like you say, I was meant to come back? But so that I, not he, could save you. What if there's another choice? Wouldn't that be the real miracle? We don't need heaven. We just need to get out of this hell. Look. They might not shine, but they are the golden tickets. They have the codes. How did you get these? There have been rumours for weeks, of course, but 
Only the rich elite would have any chance to get these. Ah, but Marie de Jour has become extremely well connected with the rich elite. A diplomat kind accidentally dropped them at his last session. This is really why I came back. To find out if you still loved me and to save us both. We just have to enter the codes. PC or phone will do. They'll come and get us, fly down like one of your angels. Take us to the capsule. Escape and live. Can we really do this? What did you say about free will? Choose life. Choose me. You know I can't. You mean he won't let you. But what if this time I'm one of his mysterious ways? You said it was through love of me that you came to him in the first place. Now I'm back and offering you a get out to the stars where you can spread his word. Preach to the whole freaking galaxy. You really think that Tin Can Vanity Project can succeed? Assuming it can even launch, any passengers would die before they reached anywhere habitable. Where's your faith? Your power of prayer? Thought you were the one who believed in miracles. Choose! I can't. I'm giving you back your free will. The chance right at the end to choose all over again. Just like before, when you chose between me and God. Real love versus the ideal. Life versus death. Maybe this time you'll get it right. When I took holy orders, I chose love and life through our saviour's gift. He's not our saviour. He's yours. I'm my own saviour. Then Mary, you must make your choice. I'm staying here. I made my choice long ago and can never break faith with it. You were my choice in spite of myself. So it seems I must stay with him too. But you don't believe in him. But you do, and I believe in you. You promised to stay with me, to the end. Whatever it is. Heaven, hell, or, or just plain nothingness. I do. And you? I do. Pray, Pray for, for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the, at the hour, hour of, of our, our death. death. been listening to Hour of Our Death by Helen Shea. John was played by James Coldrick and Mari by Catherine Edge. Hour of Our Death was produced by Matthew Wigman and directed by Mike Hickman for Off the Rock Productions. The End of the World in Seven Plays was devised by Mike Hickman, Alexander King and Alison Young. For more information about Off The Rock Productions, please visit our website at offtherockproductions.co.uk.